Hey guys, it's Mandy, and for this week's video, I'm going to be doing a Q&A because it's been a while since I have sat down and done a video just talking to you guys, let alone a Q&A, so I thought this week was a good week to do one. So I asked you guys to ask me questions on Instagram to answer in this video, so if you want to become a part of any Q&A in the future, go ahead and follow my Instagram, my Snapchat, just all that stuff so that way you can keep up to date on my YouTube channel and all of that good stuff. And if you're new to my channel and you happen to like this video, you should totally subscribe and hit the notification bell down below so that way you won't miss out on any video that I post every single Saturday for you guys. So without further ado, let's get on to the Q&A. So the first question I have is, what was the strangest thing you've ever believed when you were a child? But I can't really think of anything that I believed but I definitely did some pretty weird things. I had so many like imaginary friends, like, you know, like, oh, like maybe like when you were like five or something, you had like one or maybe two. No, I had like so many and I went through a bunch of like different phases with them. For like two months, it would be this person and then like, oh wait, they like left on vacation, like bye, whoever, like imaginary friend. And then I like find a new one, like I, <laughs> I probably went through like five or six different imaginary friends and then like when I was like really little like three or four I would not be able to go to bed without seeing the moon I have no idea why just like my little brain was like no the moon needs to be there in order for me to fall asleep so my parents like had to like be like okay Mandy there's the moon like go to bed now like bye thank you if it was like cloudy or something and like you couldn't like see the moon like I was not having it I like would not go to bed like I'd be like nope I'm waiting here until I can see the moon like I have to see the moon like what did you do with the moon like where is it where did it go what is my favorite makeup brand now I can't pick one because I love makeup a little too much but I would definitely have to go with either Too Faced or Benefit those are like if I ever need like a new product or like something isn't working out for me I feel like those two brands like never let me down so definitely those two what are you excited for in high school so if you don't know I'm in eighth grade and I'm going into high school next year I'm gonna be a freshman I'm really excited for just a change like I don't know I feel like I'm just ready to make a change and just be in a different school and on a different campus like I'm like most excited for that but I also am like really sad because like I don't want to leave like my friends and stuff my school and the kids and the campus like I'm just ready to be done with middle school like I'm ready for high school and I'm also really excited to like get involved because like I'm at the dance team at my middle school right now like I do a lot of stuff like I love to be involved and, and like I'm just really excited for that part of it and getting to like do all that stuff but I'm also really sad about leaving my friends like I don't want to leave my friends like mm -mm. what is your favorite video you have filmed so I'm like a total perfectionist so like I get really tired of my videos really fast like not to say I'm like not proud of them at the moment I'm like always super proud of the video that I make and I think that's really important when you're a youtuber like you can't be putting out videos that you aren't proud of that's a whole nother video I'm just like constantly improving my editing and all of that stuff so like the video that I filmed like two weeks ago like I feel like I've like learned and grown so much from that so I'm like not as proud of it but like when I posted it like I was definitely proud of it like this is a great video but now it's like oh like I know how to do this now and I should have done that for that video but the one video that I feel like I'm still super happy with to this day is my snapchat life hacks video I'm just really happy with the way like that one turned out like even now like months later after I posted it I'm still super happy with the way it came out and not to say I'm not happy with my other videos and the way they came out, but I'm just like constantly improving. Long rant, but yeah. <laughs> my favorite video would probably have to be my Snapchat hacks video. And if you haven't seen it, you should totally go watch it. What's your favorite place to shop for clothing? I really like PacSun, but it is so freaking expensive, but their stuff is like just such good quality. Like I love PacSun, if I would have to spend like a thousand dollars at any clothing store, it'd definitely be PacSun. But if I'm on a budget, it has to be Forever 21. Like those two stores, 
to my favorites. If I like only had to shop at those two stores for the rest of my life, like I wouldn't care. What first inspired you to dance and what do you hope to gain from dancing? I've always like loved to dance. I didn't wake up one day when I was five and be like, oh, like I wanna dance, like cool. I like just was like always doing it like when I was like really, really little. So then my parents just decided to meet to put me in like the little like toddler like combo classes when I was like three and like I did that for a while and loved it and then it just kind of went on from there and what I hope to gain from dancing is really I don't know I just like doing it and I feel like nowadays it's like oh like your hobby has to be like something that you want to do when you're older like you have to like want to do this for the rest of your life which is totally not true you can have a hobby and not want to like pursue it like career wise so I don't want it to be a career or anything because that I just like way too many other things to just stick with dance for a career I just like doing it right now and the like there's nothing wrong with that like I feel like nowadays society is like trying to prepare us for like the real world and college and like I feel like there's like no time for just fun stuff anymore it's always like school and college and what so I just like doing it right now it's something fun to do and it's just as simple as that <laughs> actually that like wasn't simple because I ranted about that for like five million years what's your favorite Disney movie I love up like I love that movie so much it is so cute and if you know me I'm obsessed with Disney like I love Disney so, so much, but Up would definitely have to be my favorite. What made you start a channel? When I was like in sixth grade, I was just really like getting into YouTube and like watching YouTube. And I just thought like, hey, like might as well try this. Like I literally was just watching like YouTubers and stuff like Alicia Marie and all those like beauty like lifestyle gurus and I was like cool like this looks fun like this looks interesting so I was like hey like why not try this and see where it goes and so I ended up posting my first video in sixth grade and it was such a crappy video on crappy quality like it still isn't great quality now but it was so bad then and then after that I was like this is something that I want to do so then like I just started like hey like let's post every week and I will make a video every week and they weren't the best videos but it's something that I genuinely love doing which I feel like is hard to find on YouTube now because people are only doing it for like the money and fame but like I started out doing it just because it was something fun to do in like my free time and I liked doing it and it was a way to express myself and then I figured out like oh like you can edit and do cool stuff with editing and I was just like hooked ever since then and two and a half years later I'm still making videos every week. I hope you guys enjoyed my Q&A and if you did you should totally give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel and you've never seen my face before I'm Mandy and I post new videos every single Saturday for you guys so you should totally subscribe and hit the notification bell so that way you don't miss out on any videos that I post every week for you guys and I will see you next week with another video. Bye guys.